Hey everyone, great to see you again. In today's video, we're going to dive into how to create a consistent animated character using Minimax. In case you haven't heard of Minimax, it's a text-to-video model that lets you create videos just by typing in prompts. Today's video is going to be super helpful if you're looking to create animated cartoons, movies, kids' stories, or even animated riddles, and make money from platforms like YouTube. This video isn't about making money on YouTube. It's focused on helping you keep your characters consistent in your animated videos. However, many people are making a lot of money by uploading videos like the ones we're going to explore today. If so many others can earn from these types of videos, you can too. Just believe in yourself. Check this out. I've created a few videos, and in each one, both characters stay completely consistent. Officially, Minimax hasn't added a consistent character feature to their text-to-video model yet. However, while taking a Google machine learning course, I learned how to train AI to generate consistent characters. I tested this on publicly available AI tools, and it worked. So today, I'm excited to share this method with you. I also created a short movie using this technique, which you can watch if you're interested. We're going to show you how to trick the AI into generating consistent characters, so be sure to watch the entire video. Otherwise, you might miss some important details. Watching today's video will put you at the forefront of the AI text-to-video field. If you miss it, you could fall significantly behind, and I'm serious about this. This technique allows you to create consistent characters with any AI tool, whether it's Runway ML, Pika Labs, Luma Labs, or even text-to-video or text-to-image models like Midjourney, Ideogram, or Flux. You can easily maintain consistency in AI-generated images or videos. So, let's dive into the video right away. If you find it helpful, please give it a like. Your support really means a lot to me. Thanks. First, I used Meta.ai to create a short story featuring two characters, Sarah and Jack. I gave it the prompt, Write me a short adventure story for kids with a boy named Jack and a girl named Sarah. Meta.ai then generated the story for me. I won't dive into the nitty-gritty of story writing. It's pretty straightforward. You can use ChatGPT or any other generative AI to do the same. The main takeaway here is that this is our story script, and it includes two characters, Sarah and Jack. Next, we want to make sure our main characters stay consistent, right? There are two ways to achieve that, and I'll show you both. After you've generated the story, head over to ChatGPT and use the prompt you'll find in the description. Just copy, paste it into ChatGPT, and hit enter. ChatGPT will reply with, Yes, I'm ready. Please provide the full script, and I'll start analyzing it to generate prompts for the main characters. Now, just copy your story script, paste it into ChatGPT, and hit send. ChatGPT will then create prompts for all the characters, showing how they look and what they're wearing. For now, we'll set that aside and open a new tab in Chrome. In the third tab, we'll open ChatGPT again. Next, you'll need to download a character from the internet. Just search for 3D animated cartoon character on Google, and you'll find plenty of copyright-free options. You can also use AI to generate characters, but make sure they're in PNG format or have a plain background. I grabbed these two characters from the web, so you should do the same. Next, upload each character one at a time to ChatGPT. Start with the girl character, ladies first, of course. Once you've uploaded the character to ChatGPT, head over to the video description, copy the prompt provided and paste it into ChatGPT with the girl character. Hit enter, and ChatGPT will give you a detailed prompt to help generate this character. Next, we'll do the same for the boy's character. Upload his image to ChatGPT, copy the prompt from the video description, and paste it in. ChatGPT will then generate a detailed prompt for the boy character. After that, go back to the video description and copy this prompt. Once copied, return to the second ChatGPT tab and paste the prompt there but don't send it yet as it's still incomplete. To complete the prompt, we need to add the character details we generated earlier using ChatGPT. Alright, so now we go back to the third tab and copy Jack's character details. But don't copy everything. Start from where it says Jack character name and continue from he is around 7 to 8 years old all the way to the end until the double quotes. Make sure not to accidentally copy anything else. After copying, go back to the second ChatGPT tab where we left the earlier prompt on hold. Paste the character details prompt after it, and hit send. In this prompt, ChatGPT is gonna save Jack's character details. We told it that every time Jack's name pops up in the script, it'll automatically add all those character details for us. So now, just hang tight, you're about to witness the magic in a second. Just like we did with Jack's character details, combining two prompts, we're gonna do the same for Sarah. Same steps. 
First, go to the description, copy Sarah's prompt, and paste it into the second ChatGPT tab, but don't hit send yet. Then, head over to the third ChatGPT tab, grab Sarah's character details just like we did for Jack, select it all up to the double quotes, copy it, then head back to the second ChatGPT tab. Now, paste Sarah's character details into that incomplete prompt and hit send. Now we've given ChatGPT Sarah's character details and told it to add these details into the prompt whenever Sarah's name appears in the script. All right, we've got everything set up and are ready to generate the video with consistent characters. But before we dive in, let me quickly walk you through the prompts so you don't run into any confusion. And all the prompts I mentioned will be right there in the video description for you. This is our first prompt, and this prompt tells ChatGPT to help create character and scene prompts for an animated video. First, ChatGPT will analyze the full script, identify the main characters, and generate detailed prompts for each character's appearance. For example, facial features, age, clothing. Then, you will send parts of the script, and ChatGPT will generate scene-specific prompts. Prompts will reflect the story's environment. For example, realistic HDR for survival stories, Pixar style for cartoons, and include keywords like Ultra HDR, cinematic for high-quality video output. So, when we give this prompt to ChatGPT along with a reference image, it writes a perfect prompt that any text-to-image or text-to-video AI can use to generate the character. For example, the first prompt creates a character, but if you're not happy with that design, you can easily switch it out by using this prompt to customize the character exactly how you want. This one is set up for a male character, but you can tweak it really easily. Just swap Jack's name for your character's name. It's that simple. Similarly, the third prompt works exactly the same way, but for Sarah's character instead of Jack. The only difference? Jack's prompt is for a male character, and Sarah's is for a female character. Both will create detailed prompts based on the reference image you upload. Finally, we've got the last prompt. The job of these last two prompts is to tell ChatGPT the character details and make sure that every time that character's name shows up in a scene, it automatically adds those details. That's how these prompts work. Hopefully, it all makes sense now. I did my best to break it down and make it as simple as possible. Alright, the moment we've all been waiting for is finally here. It's time to generate our video with consistent characters. To generate your video, just head over to hiloai.com. This text-to-video model, also known as Minimax, just became available for public use, and right now, it's free. But heads up, if you're watching this video in a few weeks or months, it might not be free anymore. Trust me, this model is incredible, and it's definitely not going to stay free for long. Okay so, once you're on the site, just hit that second green button, and it'll take you straight to the video generating workspace. After that, you need to click the button that says mine. This is where your generated video will be displayed. And in the creative description, you need to enter your prompt. To generate the prompts, we need to go back to the first Chrome tab where we generated the story script with Meta AI, and now we need to understand this story a little. For instance, the story says, Jack and Sarah were two curious friends who loved going on adventures together. So, we want to show a scene that really captures their curiosity and love for adventure. We're gonna take that part, copy it, hop over to the second ChatGPT tab, paste it, and hit send. ChatGPT will then generate a detailed prompt that includes everything from their character details to what the scene should look like. Looks like I made a tiny mistake earlier. I might have missed telling ChatGPT to add the keywords at the end of the prompt. But don't worry, I'll fix it right now. And the prompt I give you in description will work perfectly fine, so you won't run into any problems. After that, we need to copy the prompt generated by ChatGPT, then go to Minimax, paste it there, let me clean up the prompt a bit for better accuracy. After that, make sure to uncheck the tip word optimization box. If you leave it enabled, the characters might not stay consistent. Once that's done, go ahead and click generate video our video will start getting generated. Right now, Minimax takes a little time to generate videos, so I'm pausing the video, and I'll show it to you once it's finished. Alright, I'm back. The video took roughly two minutes to generate, and here it is. Let's hit play and check out how it came out. Currently, Minimax generates six-second high-quality HD videos, but if you use it right, you can easily create an entire movie with it. To check for character consistency, we need to generate another prompt and scene, so let's head back to our script and select the second scene. But stick around until the end of the video because I'll also show you how to change the character's outfit. Back to the topic, the next scene we've got is 
One sunny day, they stumbled upon an old map in Jack's attic, which supposedly led to a hidden treasure on Turtle Island. According to the script, we need a scene where Sarah and Jack find a map and are examining it. Once again, we'll copy this part of the script and paste it into the second tab in ChatGPT. After that, ChatGPT will generate the prompt for the second scene, and we just need to copy it and paste it into Minimax. If necessary, clean up the prompt if there are any extra words. And this scene prompt, text that's showing up repeatedly won't appear for you. I'll take care of it and fix it in the prompt. After that, we have to wait again until the video is generated. I'm going to pause here, and once it's ready, I'll show you how it turned out. Alright, guys, the video's ready. Let's hit play and see how it turned out. Just look at how awesome the video came out, and the consistency of the characters. Wow. I think Zenzia definitely deserves a round of applause and, of course, some likes. What do you think? Shouldn't we give it some love? Let's settle this by playing both videos side by side to see how consistent the characters are. If they're spot on, then yeah, it definitely deserves some likes. Up until now, we've covered how to generate prompts and how to train ChatGPT for character consistency. We picked up a few other things along the way, but that was the main focus. Now, it's time to learn how to change the characters' outfits. If we go back to our story script, we'll see that Jack and Sarah are getting ready for their trip to Turtle Island. And when you're heading out on a treasure hunt, you gotta be fully prepared, including changing your outfit. So, let's dive into how to do that. Don't worry, it's super easy. Head over to the video description and copy this prompt. Then, paste it into ChatGPT's second tab, but don't send it just yet, it's still incomplete. To finish it up, we'll need to describe Jack's new outfit to ChatGPT. To describe your character's outfit, you should write something like, Jack is wearing brown cargo pants, a rugged green t-shirt, a utility vest for maps, and comfortable brown hiking boots. After that, just paste it after the prompt inside double quotes, and go ahead and send it to ChatGPT. From this point forward, any prompt we give to ChatGPT that involves Jack will automatically include his new outfit, replacing the old one. Now, it's time to move on and update Sarah's outfit. Go ahead and copy the prompt from the description again and paste it into ChatGPT, but don't hit send yet. This time, replace Jack's name with Sarah, because now it's time to change Sarah's outfit. You'll describe her outfit like this, inside double quotes. Sarah is wearing olive green cargo pants, a lightweight tan long sleeve shirt, a sleek brown utility vest for tools, and sturdy black hiking boots. Once that's done, go ahead and send the prompt to ChatGPT, and it'll automatically update Sarah's outfit in every prompt from now on. After updating the outfit prompts, we'll go back to the story script and select the third scene, which says they set off early the next morning, packing snacks, water, and their sense of adventure. Once you've selected and copied the text, head over to ChatGPT's second tab, paste the text, and hit send so it can generate the prompt for the third scene. After the prompt is generated, we'll copy the prompt, head over to Minimax, paste it into the creative description, and click on generate video. Alright guys, time to wrap it up. That's how you can create your own story scenes super easily with Minimax. I went ahead and generated a few scenes just to show you how powerful this text-to-video model is. If this video helped you out, don't forget to drop a like, thanks for watching. And thank you for your support, I am Zenzia and I'll catch you in the next one.